Hello there, music lovers. Thank you so much for dropping by. I uh, want to talk about solos. Uh, in particular, you know, solos that are performed when you go to a concert. And what brought this up was this video that I did about Journey. I did the set list review. And one of the things I noticed was that there were a lot of solo spots. Like Neil Sean got two solo spots. One of them came just four songs into the set. Uh, you got Steve Smith, the drummer, got a solo. Jonathan Cain had a solo. They asked me if I wanted to do a solo, but I turned it down. <laughs> um, you know, my opinion is that, you know, solos take away. Unless you've got something really good going on, you know, you're going to really, really do something cool. I don't care. I don't care about watching you play your thing. You know, do something really interesting or let's get another song in there. I mean, I paid really good money to come see this show. You know, I came to see, you know, three, four, five guys play, not one guy, you know, unless, like I said, you got something really, really special. So it kind of got me thinking about, you know, what would be worth seeing and what isn't worth seeing, you know, um, like Neil Peart of Rush. I've brought this guy up many, many times. He puts on a show when he does a drum solo. He puts a lot of thought into it. I mean, Neil's the kind of guy, he's such a monster fucking drummer that he's the kind of guy that will tell you exactly why he played what he did. And he'll tell you that this part is a bit from the 70s that he's been kind of hanging on to. This is a part that is a brand new piece that he just came up with. And this other part is an improvisation. I mean, you know, the guy is just, that's how he is. And you make sure that you've taken your piss or you've gotten your beer when he comes on, okay? But then there's other guys, you know, that you don't care about seeing. And that's when you go take a break, you know, like the Michael Anthony bass solo in Van Halen. I mean, do we really need to see that? And I mean that with all due respect. I love Michael Anthony, but I don't need to see a bass solo. And I think a lot of these solos are done... Uh, not so much to impress us. It could be done to give the band a break. Maybe they got to go get a drink. They got to take a rest, take a piss. Maybe they're getting their noodle wet under the stage. I mean, you've probably heard the interviews with some of these bands. I think it was, I think it was Sammy Hagar. And it might have been Joe Elliott of Def Leppard or maybe Brett Michaels from Poison. It's probably all of them talking about how, you know, they would pick out women from the audience and they would get them under the stage or backstage and they'd go back there and mess around with them during the show and you know when does that happen when does a singer have time to get with chicks during a show it's when you got a guy out there doing a bass solo for 10 15 minutes you know so who's who's really worthy of doing a solo you know think about who is really worth it you know when i think about drums i i think about neil when i you know Think about guitar solos. Who do you want to see? You know, um, Ace Frehley. But that's because he's got fire shooting out of his ass. You know, he's putting on a show. That's like a performance. You know, it's like an act. Um, if he didn't have that, then you wouldn't really care to see an Ace solo. Um, the same with the Gene Simmons bass thing that he that he does. Um, you know, now I'll tell you one guitar solo that I. I do like is the one that Lindsey Buckingham does for Big Love. He's been doing it solo, but he also does it during the Fleetwood Mac shows, and that's kind of like his solo spot. So a solo spot doesn't have to be a total wank job where you're just sitting there and just, you know, spewing notes. You know, you could actually do a song, a solo song, or maybe you can do like an, uh, you know, accompaniment like in Yes with Rick Wakeman, he and John Anderson will do a spot maybe during the ARW show. I think they do um, a song called "The Meeting" from the AR from the uh, Anderson Brew for Wakeman How album. It's beautiful, you know. Um, Wakeman doesn't even have a solo during the ARW shows. I was kind of shocked that he didn't do a solo piece and that maybe Raven didn't didn't do one. But I get the feeling that they wanted to just get more songs in. I had heard that they had to cut their show down to get the songs in that they wanted to. So wanking was really not even needed. And I wish more bands had that attitude. So what do you think? You know, who are some players that should be soloing? Who shouldn't be? What do you think about solos? Put it down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe, and I will talk to you later.